Okay, so this is part two of a uh, video tutorial for setting up a Shoutcast 2 on a remote server, Linux server. Um, we left off on, we had just uh, downloaded the, uh, the Torball archives, SC server and SC trans, with wget. <coughs> And uh, unpack them, and now we're going to uh, create the configuration file. Now, as I said before in the previous video, since we're doing this remotely, we can't go to the config builder that was installed with it directly. We'll have to do it from another means. <coughs> so I'm going to uh, go ahead and set up the configuration file. And let's make sure that I have this set up correctly. I think you gotta do this every time on this login. Or maybe not. At least not for the online version. Oh, okay. Alright, so the online version you don't have to do, at least with this computer. Alright, and so... Do I have something running on port 8000 on the server? I might have something running on port 8000 already on this server. I don't. Okay, so I can just leave the default port. <coughs> Oops. Okay. <coughs> now since we're running this shoutcast server on non-root, it'd be pointless to set this because, um, most, if not all, Linux distributions do not allow anybody but the root account to open any ports below 1024, so we're not going to be able to do that.
Alright, so I think the configuration is done. So I'm going to download a backup of it. <coughs> Make sure everything got set right. I should probably change that. <clears throat> to modify that. Oh, that's not modif from there. <coughs> there we go. Duh. Okay. Hmm, I didn't modify it. <coughs> oh, I'll just do it manually. Alright, so now, <coughs> now that I have the configuration, looks like it, it's good to go. <coughs> I'm going to it again. Now, I'm not going to upload these configurations. I'm not going to save them and try to upload them. I'm going to vim them in. When I say vim, you can use v or vim. I'm just going to use vim for this video. scserve.conf I'm going to insert mode, copy, paste, and save it. And I might as well do SE Trans too. calendar file. <laughs> yeah, it works anyway, I guess, right? Yeah, it should work still. And there you have it. <coughs> Alright. 
So let's uh, start the DNS and see if we did everything right. Dot slash SC serve and feed it the uh, full path. The configuration file. Oops. And there we go. All right. <clears throat> As you can see, it's running. I'm going to go ahead and show you the page oh. there we go, the DNS is running so I've just installed the DNS. Now you still got to connect a source to it, but I think so hard. You can use the transcoder to connect as a source if you have a playlist of files already on your server, um, which takes a while to upload, but you can do it if you want to. Uh, or you can just connect to it with uh, the Shoutcast DSP in WinApp. And so there you have it. <coughs> I've just installed and configured and run a Shoutcast to DNS server remotely. Alright, thank you, and uh, please post a comment uh, in the comment section below. Tell me what you think of the video. Thank you. <coughs>